Welcome back to VIX Projects everyone. So today we're just going to have a quick catch up from last time and we're going to replace the old Bakelite steering wheel with a nice Motorlita one. So if you saw the last video, we redid the back suspension. We had a load of problems with those leaf springs. Uh, and our plan was to take the car up to the grown-ups to get them to look at the diff. So they had a look at the diff, sorted out all the backlash. They said it was actually pretty good in there. Uh, they also set up our tension on each bearing, left to right. If you remember, we had a bit of an issue there. So they've sorted all of that. But that wasn't actually the cause of the back wheels locking up after a long drive uh, when we tried to go into reverse. What they said it was, was actually the overdrive coming on in uh, all the gears. So the inhibit switch that lives down here wasn't actually engaging properly. Now, why is that a problem I hear you ask? Well, it's actually to do with how the gears work inside that overdrive. So the way the planetary gears actually work is they don't like going backwards. So as they'd heat up, they'd stay on uh, and sit in reverse as well. So, oh. so we've got a bit of a job to do at some point. Uh, this whole center console has got to come out. We've got to look at that inhibit switch. Uh, maybe space it out a little bit, he said, or we might just need a new switch. Either way, lucky for you guys, because it's a new video, a ball like for me, because all of this has got to come out. But while it was up there, I got them to do a proper tune-up. So have a look at the timing, uh, and also put it on the gas analyzer and get the carbs all set up and balanced and running nicely. And boy, they did a really good job. So one interesting thing he said was, because we've taken the original airbox off and put those pod filters on, we should really go up a needle size. So what happens is, because we've got a lot more air that can go in, the original needle can't actually supply quite as much fuel when we're in wide open throttle or up in the rev range. And you can actually feel it when you're driving along. So he said, take the original needles out. There should be a little number on there. And uh, tell them what it is. It'll load me up a new one, the next size up, and then we'll just go and fit it and just give it that last tune. So we'll look to do that next time. Well, why don't we find some money again? So obviously whilst I was there, I asked him, who do you get your springs from? Because the ones I got were rubbish. And he recommended a company called Norman Motors in London. I'll put the link down in the description below. He said, anything you want, just give that guy a call and he knows these cars inside out, which is a great piece of advice. So it's just a quick episode today. I've got to give a shout out to the guys at Auto Classico up in North Bristol. If you guys are in the local area, then check them out for your classic cars. Really nice guys uh, and really knowledgeable too. Well, I hope you enjoyed this quick update from Vix Projects, and the next video is a closely guarded secret. <laughs>